Developing tonight at 5, Venezuelan leader Nicolas Maduro has claimed victory at Sunday's presidential election in that country. The opposition also claiming victory as well, pointing to exit polling, showing Maduro's challenger captured a clear majority. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken questioning the outcome and asking for transparency. We have serious concerns that the result announced does not reflect the will or the votes of the Venezuelan people. Across Colorado, Venezuelan immigrants are watching closely. Many crying foul. As Karen Morfa tells us, they'd expressed hope for an end to the economic and political crisis that has spurred so much immigration from Venezuela. The target parking lot at Havana in Mississippi had the aftermath of a roller coaster night. Venezuelan immigrants had gathered there Sunday to watch election returns. This group doesn't want fellow Aurorians to think poorly of their countrymen, so they're cleaning up the mess left behind. I want to do the solution of the problem, not the problem. Primero que todo, que es un fraude total. Genesis Salum Rosa says Nicolas Maduro's victory declaration is a total fraud. She points to vote tallies she followed on social media showing overwhelming support for opposition leader Edmundo Gonzalez. We've had 25 years and would have six more years of dictatorship that Venezuela will never get out of. That's why people are upset and in the streets protesting, because they do not accept that this is the verdict. Salum Rosa showed us videos sent by friends of people taking to the streets back home. She says Venezuelans are desperate and that if the country continues on this path, more people will flee the country. With what's happening, if this government doesn't fall, it will be more than double the emigration that's occurred in recent years. That's Karen Morfitt reporting for us. Today, Governor Polis issued a statement on the Venezuelan election, saying in part what's happening in that country illustrates the importance of backing leaders in our country who support democratic electoral processes.